Okay, right now I want to show you how to use the PayPal cart plugin. And it's a little difficult the first few times. It took me a little while to figure it out. But I got it and I want to show you how to use it. I've added it to 951fitness.com to the services and products page. And you can see here where it says add to cart all the way down on everything. And here's some of the cute sweatshirts. They are really cute. Um, all the way down. So you can see those and how they show the add to cart button. So let me show you how we use this. So I'm going to go back into editing this page. Now this is what's tricky and this is why I couldn't email you just the code on how to do it because it's you have to have this little code right here where it says WP cart price and what it is. So um, it's real simple. You can copy and paste this into anything. So let's pretend we're going to add another product down here under this one. We would simply add the picture of whatever it is. I'm just going to pull any picture off of the website right now to show you. So here is a hat. Let's just do your hat. Okay, and I want to set this for none rather than center left or right none is going to make it just go in a straight line down the side of the page if you prefer to have it centered or on left or right you can do those also but I'm just making them a straight line down the page and I'm going to insert the picture into the post okay and it says it's a black trucker hat so now I just copy and paste from this up here The other way I can find this, if I'm wondering what this is right here, I can find this from over here under the settings under the WordPress shopping cart. But since it's already on this page, I'm just going to copy and paste it right from this page. Okay. So I'm copying and I'm pasting right here. Okay. Oh, it looks like it went on the photo. We don't want that to do that. We want it after the photo. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to paste that there. And I'm going to change this to call it the name of it. Black trucker hat and the price I don't not sure the price so I'm just gonna put $20 since I'm not sure of it and you can either put a dollar sign or not either way it doesn't matter so it's $20 and then I update the page and now I want to preview those changes on the page and make sure that it worked Okay, let's scroll down and look at the black trucker hat and make sure it's there. There you go. And then you just add to cart. Okay, now we may want to put um, a description and prices. I can see there's no description or prices on here. So we may want to go through the page and add those on. Let me show you how you can find this coding if you need it to put on another page or something like that. So you just simply go to the settings and go to WordPress shopping cart and here's the code WP cart and you put the product name and the product price and you can just copy and paste from there at the end of every page you want to do show WordPress shopping cart so I'm going to copy this and put it back on that services page at the very bottom So in case anybody does order anything, it adds it right into the shopping cart. We want this on the bottom of the page. Okay, pasted that shopping cart on. Now let's update. 
So that's real simple where to find it. You just go under your settings and go to um, WordPress shopping cart. Click on it and you can see these codes right here. WordPress product name or show WordPress shopping cart. Now you can also add options to that. Let me show you where that is. So you can see here under your sweatshirts where it says black hooded sweatshirt price $24.99 size medium or large. I'm actually what I'm going to do is right here I'm going to add it says black shopping cart um, black hooded sweatshirt on the picture. Um, so I'm just going to type price $24.99 so people can see what the price is. Um, so you can see here it says black hooded sweatshirt price $24.99 variation 1 size medium large. You can add variation 1, variation 2, as many variations as you want to add size, color, and so on. So now let's update this. Okay, now let's preview the changes and make sure it worked. There you go. So it shows on there the add to cart and here I put price and size add to cart. So let's just order one just so you can see what it does. Okay, so we ordered it and you'll see at the bottom of the page is going to be the shopping cart. Now um, I can also add a shopping cart into the widgets over here on the side which maybe I'll do that for you right away. So that way you can have a shopping cart in the widget also. So every time somebody adds something to the shopping cart, it'll run down the side for them and they'll be able to see what they're ordering. Okay, that's it, that's how you do it. You just copy and paste that little code and put it under the pictures. The reason the pictures get all funny sometimes is you have to make sure when you edit the pictures, oops, I opened up your big picture. When you edit the picture, you need to, um, I keep clicking the wrong button. Let's go backwards. When you edit your pictures on the pages, you need to make sure you have it set for none. So here on the pictures, Just go in and make sure it's set. Alignment is none. Okay? So there you go. You are all set. And I hope that made sense.